Hi. Uh, we stumbled on a quite an unusual phenomenon, unusual to us that is, on an old 78 RPM record this afternoon. So I'm just making this quick video. Um, it might be of interest. Yes, we've just been playing this old British Coliseum record which dates from around 1919 or perhaps even 1920, not sure. And uh, <coughs> uh, it, it, it was, <laughs> well look, this is what happened. Um, I'll just play the end of it for you. Then I switched it off, listen. And it seemed to me I heard a little thing that went <whistles> I'll put it back on. Yes, as something goes <whistles> and <whistles> Now this is very strange. Well, um, why when a record finishes the groove is silent but when you slow it down it goes and when you speed it up again it goes there's something strange here um, so uh, we decided to investigate it further scene four uh, well this isn't a very elaborate record deck but it does go at 78 and you can also vary the speed uh, up to either um, 8, 12 or 20 percent plus or minus 20%. So what we did was we recorded, we slowed it down as much as we could, which is 33, less 20%, and uh, played the record as slowly as this deck will go. And... I think you can hear a suspicious sort of whistle going on. So we recorded a section of this very slow moving groove, here it is on the computer screen and it sounds like this. Uh, you can hear a distinct, uh, there's lots of noise, broadband noise, but there's a distinct high frequency present in there. So uh, let's isolate it. By trial and error we have um, isolated the frequency here, uh, which is about 2800 hertz. So I'll just play the sample again, and you will hear, I think, a distinct whistle or audio tone present there. But we need to make it more, let's isolate it more. This skirt is too wide, so first of all, I'll check that blob and then I'll play the sample again and then reduce the skirt, width of the skirt. And now we've got a very distinct note, which is approximately 2800 hertz. Um, now, uh, this is, continues to be very interesting. Hello, uh, yeah look, I'm just working out here, if we have a frequency of 2.8 kilohertz, um, at tw at 20, it's about 26 RPM we were playing that, that's 20% under 33 is about 26, and it gave us a frequency of 2.8 kilohertz, so if we speed it up, <clears throat> that's 78 divided by 26 times 2800, that will give us the true frequency in the groove. So here we are, the little calculator here. So we put in 78 divided by 26, which is 3, uh, exactly 3, uh, times 2800. Equals uh, 8400. So 
what is going on? What's going on here? How can there be a frequency of 8.4 kilohertz in the groove of an acoustic record? I mean, this is really weird. One last observation in this puzzle is that the frequency, as we remarked, was about 2.8 kilohertz at the end. But if you step the pickup back, it gets higher. until I can't hear it anymore. Therefore, what does this mean? Well, it obviously means that the uh, frequency is proportional to the groove velocity and so it, the frequency falls as the uh, groove velocity drops near the centre of the record. Uh, now that means that the source of, the, of this frequency, the source of this undesired <laughs> modulation uh, must be uniform across the record um, because uh, you know it, it, it's constant. So you know I think this means that, that as was suggested by uh, an expert on an internet list I was talking to yesterday about things like this. Um, I, I don't quote his name because he might not want me to, but uh, it was considered that. When a wax master is, it cools down after it's been cut, because they're always cut warm, I don't know how warm, but we all know that the wax masters were kept quite soft so they would receive the groove, uh, that when they cooled, there could be an effect of uh, cleavage or shrinkage in very, very small increments as the wax slightly decreased in size because waxes, generally speaking, have a high coefficient of expansion uh, and that the wax was somehow, as it were, um, modulated by tiny sort of decrements uh, and it may be those that we've been listening to on this record and uh, they would that, that would be a fairly homogeneous or uniform process across the disc, I think, uh, which would account for the fact that as the groove velocity slows, the, that frequency of that um, surface characteristic decreases but uh, the whole thing is getting very very uh, obscure. Any comments uh, gladly welcomed.